Today, I am going to work with the princess archetype. And I have this crown and I've taken a photo of it and I put it into Snapseed and I did a grunge effect. And I think I'm going to end up printing that on this paper here. And this is tissue paper that I painted with acrylics and metallics. So we're gonna have to put those together and do some manipulation. But a little bit about the princess is that uh, she really is about embodiment of privilege and entitlement. There's a, um, a hierarchy. She's born into princess dumb usually and certainly has a royal entourage and I picked the pink because it has that romantic kind of quality which I think the princess certainly is all about and um, that position of privilege and the nicer things I think brings in that nice gold metallic really well the princess doesn't like to get her hands dirty she has nice things that are quality and expensive she lets other people, that entourage, do the heavy lifting or the menial work or the daily chores. And, uh, you know, she may or may not actually assume the queen role. So that kind of remains to be seen. Well, I have this pretty little piece too. I like the gold border around it. Um, and this came from a commercial paper that I've used in the past. It's actually, I think, a leftover from what I did with the king. But let me go ahead and print this out and see how that all comes out. Okay, I'm probably way too experimental than the princess is, but I used this Threads Silk Chiffon, and this is from printablefabrics.com. And this is what I got. So I guess I had to change my ink cartridges. This is um, very pretty, but not at all really what I wanted. And I changed out the ink cartridges, and this is what I ended up with. Um, and then I also have some other things that I was looking at, because I, I would like to layer it. So I've got this pretty piece here, and this is a shear of some sort. And this is another sheer, kind of giving more of a aged look. And I tried to paint this, but I don't like that. And another sheer, that's too, don't like that as much as I thought I was going to. And another one, a little metallic in there. Not so sure. I love this gauze, but I don't think that's right for a crown. Then I have this very pretty piece, and that does kind of remind me of a crown. That might not be so bad. I think I. I think I will go ahead and affix that, probably with Misty Fuse. And then, then see where I'm at. How's that sound? I thought about putting this beautiful silver leaf underneath. Comes in a gold leaf, and I think this was I don't know if it's just, just silver or if there's a mix in here, but it's very, very fragile. But I decided that I didn't like it. So I'm going to try to return this. And I want to do a little bit of rubbing on here to get some more gold. So I have misty fused this. And just in case I get any extra. Why are you just 
just wanted it to be a little bit more blingy. But keep in mind, the shadow aspect of the prin princess is that she's in need of protection. She feels helpless. She wants to be taken care of, you know, waiting for her Prince Charming to appear. And without that prince, she doesn't see herself as a full or complete person. She can be very sweet and passive and relies on others to create her fate. And what she can do in the world in the immature aspect of princess is untapped and dormant. So the good works that might be available to her, she, she doesn't uh, apply herself and she doesn't take an active role in her life. All right, that should be enough. And then what I did, here's my photo printed on a chiffon. And I'm going to trim this down a little bit more to vignette size. Interesting how the crown really doesn't come out all that well. Comes out a little bit better on that. Probably going to do something like that. I'm going to trim this down to uh, kind of a vignette and I'm going to attach these because I'm spending way too much time on this one. I've attached them down and I'm going to separate this sheet. But let's talk about the princess who is empowered and the empowered princess does good work in the world. She's really seen as an ambassador. She becomes skilled and compassionate. She uses her status to do good for others. She becomes confident and fights her own battles. She's not waiting to be rescued or saved. She provides for herself. She's autonomous and independent and um, really works to do those charitable acts in the world. Talk a, a little bit about the lost princess, and she's the one that doesn't have her voice. And we look at that in terms of art. She's probably all over the place and doesn't really register with her path or her voice and kind of aimlessly makes art, but never really commits to that path. Okay, I'm finishing up the princess and what I did was I attached the silk chiffon to a freezer paper as a carrier, put that in the printer and I figured out the placement and size that I wanted for this crown and then put the carrier sheet with the silk chiffon and printed the crown on top. Of course you can probably see that I also painted along here and the next couple of steps getting close to completion I'm going to use this iridescent medium to affix this little bit of sheer with a metallic you may remember that I kind of like that earlier and I do prefer to tear if possible. Now the, um, oftentimes the princess is expected to be perfect. So if she's looking for that in her work, maybe a long time coming. So living up to her true nature her work may embody beauty and romance, which is kind of what I was hoping to capture in this. And employing her status for the good of others, she seeks to use her art to bridge the gap, maybe between those that are privileged and those that are underprivileged. And then ultimately, I'm gonna be probably looking at 
bedazzling some kind of gems. So we're gonna let that dry and put some kind of gemstones on. I might even put them up here with the crown. That could be good. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that idea, at least to some respect. So just know that in the light, she finds her identity. She becomes com compassionate and uses her empowerment to create art that lives in the hearts of the people around her.